you can use exe on windows mac as well as linux systems let us take a look at the installation process for exe learning to download exe to your machine go to exe learning dot org we will take a look at the installation process for a windows machine go to the older releases section and under windows click on the windows installer the exe package will start downloading to the downloads folder on your machine once exe learning has completed downloading on your machine go to your downloads folder and double click on the exe icon the installation setup window will open click on next click on i agree you can provide a destination folder for the exe program to install and then click on install once the program has successfully installed on your machine you can see it in the start menu a shortcut for exe can also be seen on your desktop you can open the exe tool by either double clicking on the exe icon from the start menu or the desktop once you click on the exe icon The EXE window will open as shown here. The menu contains files, tools, styles and help. Let us take a look at each of these. From the file menu, you can open an existing file, create a new file, save the file, print the file, export or merge the file or quit the file. from the tools menu option you can go to the i device editor change the language preference or refresh the display of the page under the styles menu you have options of changing the style of the exe package currently the style is default under the help section you will find help on creating and managing your exe files located at the left of the screen is the exe sidebar containing the outline and i device panes on the right hand side of the screen you can see the authoring window it behaves as a drafting board where content authors using the i device tools can edit and view content a properties tab is also accessible in this workspace the properties tab is designed to enable content authors to define basic metadata and taxonomy for the project as well as add a header graphics and a title for the course the authoring window along with the sidebar are together known as the authoring workspace now let us take a look at the exe sidebar in detail this is the outline pane it enables you to construct an outline or course design that reflects your own preferred hierarchy below the outline is the i device or instructional device pane it is a collection of structural elements that describe learning content and activities learning content is created by selecting i device from the i device menu and entering your learning content 